so here's what I get asked all the time. You know, people ask me all the time. They say, Andy, how is it that I can break away from the competition? Andy, how is it that I can separate myself from the people who are on the right or the left of me? How is it that I can get recognized? How can I have a breakthrough year? And so if you've ever wondered that question on how you could separate yourself from the competition or how is it that you can have a breakthrough year, how is it that you can find a way to increase your value in the marketplace, I'm going to give you the answer. But I've got to warn you that it may not be as complicated as you think it's going to be. Yes, I know that there's some people that they're, they're hoping that it's going to be a very complicated answer so they can justify why they haven't been making it happen. And so if you've got a note and a paper, here's what I want you to write this down. And it's very simple. You've heard this expression before, but you simply have to go the extra mile. That's right. You've got to go the extra mile. You know, as a matter of fact, it was Wayne Dyer who said that it's never crowded along the extra mile. Why is it never crowded along the extra mile? Because most people, most people will never ever go the extra mile. Most people will only do what's required of them. Most people will find a way to cut the corners. Most people don't want to get uncomfortable and push themselves and do more than they're expected to do. And because of that, when you're willing to go the extra mile. Because of that, when you're willing to exceed the expectations. Because of that, when you're willing to raise the bar. Because of that, because when you're willing to exceed the expectations of those around you, then all of a sudden, some amazing things begin to happen. And so the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I know this is silly and I've got to share this with you because every once in a while we just learn a lesson from just one of the most simple things that take place in life. And so what happened is I needed to get the roof pressure cleaned at the house. And so for those of you who don't know, down here in South Florida, you know, we have a lot of climate change going on. It's raining one moment. The sun is beating the other moment. You know, we've got a lot of green trees around. So over time, our roofs, especially for people with tile roofs, over time, they'll begin to have algae on the roofs and the roofs will become very dark and unattractive. So when, when that happens, it's time to get the roof pressure cleaned. And so I need to get this thing done. I don't have time to be doing Doing all this searching and finding out who I'm gonna hire so I just went on Craigslist and I said the first the first pressure cleaning ad that I find I'm calling and if they can come and do it right away I'm hiring them so I go on Craigslist I find this company pressure cleaning company and I go ahead and call them out and I needed to also get one of my rental properties pressure cleaned I, I, I need to get the driveway pressure cleaned. And, and so I call this company up they say hey no problem we're gonna take care of it first thing on Monday and he says okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the rental property as soon as we leave the rental property we're gonna come to your personal home and so sure enough the guy went to the rental property, knocks on my front door. As soon as he gets there, I said, listen, did you did you make it to my rental property? He says, absolutely. So as a matter of fact, let me show you something. And right away, he pulls out his little iPhone and he already has the before and after pictures. And as I'm looking at the before and after pictures, I mean, I just expected this guy to pressure clean the driveway, but no, he didn't stop there. He pressure cleaned the driveway. He pressure cleaned underneath the carport. He pressure cleaned the walkway and he pressure cleaned the sidewalk. So right away, right away, this guy has exceeded my expectations. And now it's time for him to pressure clean the roof. And so the average person that gets up on the roof and pressure cleans, most of the time they'll be done in about two and a half hours. I'm sitting there in the in the house office, I'm doing work, and it's four hours later, and this guy is still on the roof pressure cleaning. I get outside, I walk out to the street, I'm looking back. I mean, this guy is getting every single corner, every piece of dirt off the roof. Well, what happens is, he comes down. And so now I'm thinking the guy's gonna stop, and I'm thinking he's gonna put his equipment away, and next thing I know, he's starting to pressure clean it back up. And I say, whoa, 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 what, what are you doing? What are you doing? You did a great job. What are you doing now? He said, well, since I'm already here, I'm going to go ahead and do your driveway and the sidewalk. I said, well, you know, I only paid you to do the roof. He says, yeah, I know, but don't worry about it. It's like, wow. And so I, I, I just remember going back in the house. And at that point, I, I just, I literally couldn't work anymore because I, I just, I felt almost like I had to watch this guy. 
And so now I'm sort of standing right by the front. I'm looking through the window and I'm seeing this guy is pressure cleaning every single inch, every single millimeter of the driveway. I'm seeing him go out on the sidewalk and it just so happened that my neighbor was pulling into her driveway and my neighbor told him, hey, if you don't mind, go ahead and do my sidewalk too. And he said, sure thing. And didn't even ask her for a penny. And so I'm sitting inside, I'm saying to myself, well, wh what is it? What is it that, 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 that's in somebody or, or what level of, of, of expectations does somebody place on themselves to deliver that quality of service? And so let me just tell you, by the time this guy was done, what he had charged me, I felt almost embarrassed to even think for a moment to hand him a check at that price. And so naturally, naturally, I had to give this guy a bonus. Naturally, I felt compelled to pay him more. Not because I wanted to be generous, but because he earned it. Why? Because he exceeded my expectations. Why? Because he went the extra mile. And so now I want you to look at your own personal life. And I want you to think about all the different areas in your life where you're looking and you're hoping to separate yourself from the competition. The areas in your life in which you're looking to break through. The areas in, with, in your life that you're looking to take to the next level. And I want you to be very honest with yourself and answer the question, are you going the extra mile? Are you exceeding the expectations? Are you holding yourself to a higher standard? And you see this man, when it was time for me to pay him the check, you know, I was handing him the check. I said, listen, man, you, you did such an amazing job. I mean, you, you did, you went above and beyond at my rental property. Then you came here and I just had you do the roof. You did the driveway. You did the, the sidewalk. You did my neighbor's sidewalk. And he said, listen, I just, I had to give you a little extra something. And I said, man, that, that, that's, uh, you're, you're special, man. You don't see people who work like you anymore. And he looked me in the face and here's what he said. He said, listen, he says, this is just my mindset. This is the way that I operate. Any job that I'm doing, I treat it as if it were my own personal house. And when he said that, this is what, what I learned from that experience. And I want you to write this down if you're a note taker. Here's what I learned. That at some point, you've got to hold yourself to a higher standard. Not because you're expecting to get compensated for it. Not because you're hoping to get recognition. But you hold yourself to a higher standard because it's who you are. It's because it's what you're expecting of yourself. It's not because it's what others are expecting of you, but it's because of this is what you expect of yourself. That you say to yourself that if I do this, that I'm going to be the best at it. If I do this, I'm going to give it 100%. If I do this, I'm not going to try to cut corners. If I do this, I'm going to take it beyond the expectations of those around me because I'm not looking to impress those around me. I'm simply looking to fulfill my own standards for myself. And if you can do that, if you can do that, I'm going to tell you right now, you'll find that slowly but surely, you'll begin to separate yourself from the competition. Slowly but surely, you will create more opportunities for yourself. And slowly but surely, you will realize something that someone taught me very long ago, and I want you to write this down. If you do more than what you are paid for, you will eventually get paid more for what you do. Now, I want you to write this down. I believe it was Jim Rohn was the first person I heard it. And I know I've definitely heard Les Brown say this, and I want you to write this down. If you do more than what you are paid for, you will eventually get paid more for what you do. And so is the reason why you do more because of the fact that you're simply looking to get paid more? No, 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 no. 
But what happens is because you're looking to put in more time and more effort, because you're holding yourself to a higher standard, because of the fact that you're exceeding expectations, because of the fact that you're going the extra mile, that when you do that, you can't help but create extra value. When you do that, you can't help but exceed expectations. And if you create more value and if you exceed expectations, eventually the compensation will follow. And so you've got to go the extra mile. You've got to hold yourself to a higher standard. And you've got to dig deep and do those things and place your own requirements upon yourself without anybody else telling you to do it. You see, I didn't go out there and tell the guy, hey, would you mind? Hey, could you hook me up and also do the driveway? I didn't tell him, hey, would you mind also doing my my neighbor's sidewalk? Would you mind doing that? No, he holds himself to a higher standard. He says, I'm here now, so I'm going to create the absolute best value that I can. And that's what you've got to do right now in your life. Now, when it comes in your business, you've got to hold yourself to a higher standard. You've got to be willing to exceed the expectation of your clients. You've got to be able to push yourself and separate yourself from the rest of the competition. Why? Because the rest of the competition is looking to do less and get compensated more. The rest of the competition is looking to cut corners. The rest of the competition, the moment that nobody else is looking, they're going to start cutting corners and not doing the thing that is required of them. But something special happens when you hold yourself to a special standard. Something special happens when you're not concerned about who's watching because you know that you yourself, you, you're holding yourself to a higher standard. And when you show up that way, when you decide to move forward on your goals and your dreams and go that extra mile that Wayne Dyer was talking about, that's never, ever crowded because everybody else stays away from the extra mile because it requires you to dig deep. It requires more of your time. It requires more focus it requires you to raise the bar and so I want you to think about the place in your life right now where you where you want to go to the next level the, the place in your life where, where 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 you want to separate yourself from the competition and I want you to start thinking how is it that you can exceed the expectations how is it that you can go the extra mile. But here's one of the things that I realized is that in order for you to exceed the expectations, first, you've got to at least be aware of what the standard is. What, what, what are people expecting of you right now when it comes to your business? What are people, what is your boss expecting of you right now when it comes to your position at the job? What is your spouse expecting from you right now? What is it that those around you are expecting from you? And once you know what they're expecting from you, what you say to yourself is, is I want to go beyond that. And so my goal is not just to meet their expectations, but my goal is to go beyond the expectations. And so if they're if they're expecting me to do this, I'm going to hold myself to a higher standard and go beyond their expectations. That's how you go the extra mile. That's how you exceed expectations. That's how you put yourself in position to actually do more than what you're being paid for. So that eventually people will want to pay you more for what you do. And so here's the other thing that I, that I, that I realized. And if you're a note taker, I want you to write this down. That the reason why you want to go the extra mile, the reason why you want to exceed expectations is because in whatever it is that you do, you want to be the absolute best at what you do. And and I'm not telling you from the standpoint of looking around and comparing yourself to everybody else. No, I'm talking about when it comes to your gifts, your skills, your talents, the the things that have been given to you by God, that you've got to say to yourself that when I'm in my element, when I'm doing this thing that I've been called to do, that I am going to be the absolute best at doing it. And so in whatever it is that I'm doing, it is going to be the best version of me. 
it is going to be the best of what I have the capacity to do. And if you continue to show up like that, if you continue to do the work, if you continue to put in the hours, you'll come to the point that you look around and you'll realize that when you look to your right and your left, you'll realize that you are in fact the best at what you do and where you are right now with your skill set, with your experience, with where you are. And so you've got to require that from yourself. And so I, I, I don't know if I can think of somebody who, who, who better displays this. And, and, and one of my, I mean, favorite performers of all time, all time is Michael Jackson. I'm telling you, I, I, I can listen to the Michael Jackson greatest hits. And, and it's so unfortunate that he's no longer with us. But, but I can tell you right now, I remember watching, I, I believe it was what Motown 25 or Motown. I forget the exact number, but, but, but by far, when I tell you, I remember being a little kid and watching that. And that was by far the most impressive performance I had ever seen in my life. And if you remember that performance, that that was at Motown. And that's when Michael Jackson had first displayed the moonwalk and everybody went absolutely crazy. And he did Billie Jean. And I mean, it was amazing. People were standing up legends in the music industry. They were all standing up and they're looking and, and, and you see, and by far, I tell you that by far, as somebody said, who is the greatest of all time? I'm going to tell you without a shadow of a doubt, it's Michael Jackson. And then I remember having an opportunity to seeing some behind the scenes footage, some behind the scenes footage of Michael Jackson in rehearsal, some behind the scenes footage of, of Michael Jackson in his element. And, and when you, when you say, well, how did this guy become the very best at what he did? How does this guy enter an arena where there's not even an arena, just an open area where there's over 400,000 screaming fans and people are literally passing out and fainting because they're screaming so hard. How does this one man entertain over 400,000 people? How does one man enter so many countries? How does one man be able to spellbind people who can't even speak his language? And when you look behind the scenes, what you realize is that this man only lived beyond the extra mile when it came to his preparation. He lived beyond the extra mile when it came to rehearsing. He went beyond the extra mile. You see, most musicians, all they're concerned about at first, and the only thing they pay attention to is what they're going to do on the stage. No, not Michael Jackson. No, he wants to know what's going on with the lighting. He wants to know every single aspect of the show. He wants to make sure that it's going to be the right sound effects. He wants to make sure that there's going to be the right right uh the right fire going off the right lighting every single detail of the show because he holds himself to a higher standard because he says to himself that i want and will be the absolute best at this thing that i do this gift that i've been given and so at some point you've you've got to be willing to say to yourself that i, I want to be the best at what i do and, and, and part of being the best means that, that you can't just look to aim to get beyond the extra mile, but you've got to live beyond the extra mile. So that means when your competition is sleeping, you're still up. When your competition is getting tired, you're still pushing forward. When your competition has given up because they receive 10, 15, 20, 30 no's, you're just getting warmed up. When your competition is around there and, 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 and confused and frustrated because they're not getting the right support, because there's not the right people who's on their team and encouraging them, you say to yourself that I'm going to encourage myself. When your competition is deciding to cut corners, you say, hey, you know what? I'm going to over deliver because I understand that impact drives income. And the more impact that I can make, the greater income that I can make. And so you've got to be willing to go the extra mile. And you do that by saying to yourself that not only, not only do you say to yourself that I'm going to hold myself to a higher standard, but you also say to yourself that I want to be the absolute best at what it is that I do. And so I don't care what it is that you do. I don't care if you're a janitor. 
I don't care if you're a CEO of a company. I don't care if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, if you're an attorney, if you're a speaker, if you're an author, if you're a caseworker, if you're a teacher, if you're a sanitation driver, whatever it is that you do, you've got to say within yourself that I'm going to be the best at this thing with the gifts that I have right now, with the skills that I have right now, with the breath that's in me, with the energy that I have, I'm going to show up in such a way that I'm going to stand out because I'm saying within myself, I'm holding myself to a higher standard. And I'm also willing and saying to myself that at this moment, with the skills that I have right now, I'm going to be the absolute best at what it is that I'm doing. And, and finally, if you're a note taker, I had you write this down, but, but I, I need to repeat this for you because I really need you to get this, e especially for those of you who, who, who want to experience increase in your life. You, 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 you want increase, but you're trying to figure out, well, how do I get the increase? How do I, how do I get the raise? How do I, how do I, how do I have more people enter my business? How do I get more opportunities? How do I have a more lucrative business? How do I get to the next level? And so when you ask yourself, how do you do that? You do that by doing more than what's expected of you. And I'm going to repeat it because I need you to write this down. If you do more than what you are paid for, you will eventually get paid more for what you do. And if you could just understand that concept, if, 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 if when you at our, when you're at the job and you're getting paid $20 an hour, if you deliver like somebody who's getting paid $50 an hour, if, if you're running a business and you're providing a service and your client has a certain level of expectation, but if you're willing to deliver more than what they expect, if, 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 if you're somebody right now and, 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 and you're working on developing a relationship and, and you're pouring into a relationship, but if, if you understand what the expectations are in the relationship, but if you can find a way to go beyond the expectations, if, if, if any of those situations, you can find a way to deliver more than what's expected of you, then ultimately at some point you will find greater fulfillment, greater compensation, greater results for what it is that you do. And if you could just understand that one little universal principle, what you'll find is you'll begin to experience increase in your life. You'll have increase in your finances. You'll have some increase in your health, you'll have increasing relationships, you'll have increase on the job. Because what happened is people can 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 see those who go the extra mile. Because why? Because most people would not even begin to enter the extra mile. Most people are trying to figure out how to get to the finish line by cutting corners, by taking a shortcut. And once they get to the finish line, they sit down, they stop. And so that's the reason why Wayne Dyer says that the extra mile is never really crowded because most people don't want to go the extra mile because going the extra mile means that you're going to have to get uncomfortable. Going the extra mile means that you're going to have to dig deep. Going the extra mile means that you're going to have to invest more time, more resources. Going the extra mile means that you're going to have to exceed expectations. Going the extra mile means that you're going to raise a higher standard of yourself. Going the extra mile says that you're going to be the best at what you do do. But if you're willing to do that, then eventually you will get compensated one way or the other for more than whatever it is that you're doing. And so, you know, I, <laughs> lastly, you know, it just makes me think about, um, you know, my, my, my fiance, um, she has this, uh, this um, amazing, young lady who, who comes over to clean her condo and the most, you know, we'll go out during the day and, and we head back to the condo and when we get there, I mean, the condo will be absolutely spotless, but, but you can almost always count on her doing something extra. And so it's not her responsibility. It's not part of her cleaning obligations to completely organize the closet, but she'll do it. It's not part of her obligation to, to go ahead and, and reorganize the, pen, the pantry, but she'll do it. It's not part of her responsibility to actually pull out pieces of furniture and so forth that most people would never pull out to get underneath, but she would do it. And, and because of the fact that she does it consistently, what happens is she has a set rate that she charges, 
But every single time it's time to cut the check, we end up paying her more than what her rate is. And the reason why is because she always delivers so much more value. And so what happens is many of us are expecting an increase. We want more. We want more people to come into our business. We want greater revenues within our business. We want more of a promotion. We want to have greater fulfillment. But what happens is we're taking a discounted approach in the way that we're showing up. And so in other words, we want more compensation, but we want to put in less work. We want more fulfillment and more satisfaction, but we want to put in less effort and energy. We want people to recognize us for what it is that we're doing, but we want to actually do less than what's required. And so see, that's, that's, that's sort of reverse. It's backward in the thinking. And so what you've got to be willing to do is exceed the expectations like this young lady, because she is living evidence that if you do more than what you are paid for, you will eventually get paid more for what you do. Why? Because people will be embarrassed to even pay you anything less because you deliver in such a way. Let me tell you. People who deliver beyond expectations, people who are living beyond the extra mile, you're not even, you don't even feel comfortable asking them for a discount. As a matter of fact, you're ashamed to ask them for a discount and, and make no mistake about it. Nobody, nobody asks for, for more discounts or likes to negotiate more than Andy Henriquez. I tell people all the time that I have seven favorite words that I like to say, is that the best you can do? I say it all the time. That seven words right there saves me literally thousands of dollars every single year. But there are some people that because they live beyond the extra mile, there are some people because they hold themselves to a higher standard. There are some people because they've resolved within themselves that they're going to be the best at what they do because there are some people who do more than what they were paid for. And so eventually they get paid more for what they do because of some of those people, you're embarrassed to even ask them for a discount because of the way that they show up. And so I, I, I'm just going to ask you the question again. Well, what, what area in your life are you looking to break through? Uh, what area in your life are you looking to get to the next level? And, and whatever area in your life that, that you're looking to break through or get to the next level or, or experience increase, I just want to remind you that the only way that you're going to make it happen is to be willing to go the extra mile. Yeah. Because as, as Wayne Dyer would say, it's never, ever crowded along the extra mile. Go the extra mile. This has been Andy Henriquez reminding you to always show up for your life. Because if you don't, if you don't, ladies and gentlemen, no one else will. Yes, yes. Yeah.